In this episode, I complete my fourth and final braid for the trip on the Nez Perce Reservation. Then, on my way home, I picked out five places that you are going to want to see in Idaho. My first stop was along the scenic Clearwater River at Falling Feather Farm in Julieta, Idaho. The owners, Ed and Debbie, specialize in breeding the Nez Perce horse, and they are one of the few places in the world where you can find one of these incredible horses for sale. Ed and Debbie introduced us to Jack and Val de Soup from Garden Springs Farm. And this is kind of where it starts. This is all tribal property here. But okay. So we are here on the Nez Perce Indian Reservation. And right along here is where all of the tribe horses are. So uh, Jack and Val are showing us the horses and kind of telling us the story of uh, of what's been happening with them and uh, just kind of showing us the, the different horses that are here and then we'll actually be going back to their place and doing some riding after that so it's just it's really cool to be here. Jack has worked for the Nez Perce tribe for over 25 years. One of his first horse experiences was with this gelding named Red Sky. Some of the older buildings on the reservation were a part of Fort Lapway built between 1862 and 1884. We saw the officers' quarters, remnants of the parade ground, and the stables. Then it was time to head back to Garden Springs Farm for some horsing around. Melda Sue has been training horses since she was a teenager and has taught riding lessons for over 25 years. This is cool. For my quest ride, I was introduced to Morning Storm, a chestnut gelding that was bred by the Nez Perce tribe. His grandfather was Magnus Colorado, one of the four original Akalteki stallions that was donated to the tribe and started the Nez Perce breed. And riding him was an absolute honor. Jack and Val told me that I am one of the only other people that has ever ridden him. We know how meaningful horses are to us, and I can't even imagine for, for people that aren't necessarily into horses, but it's so much a part of their culture and so much and a part history, of their history. And their history as a people. Right. Horses. To have the Nez Perce horses here and the ability to access them, I mean, that it, it's such a special treasure. Mm -hmm. We arrived as total strangers, but by the time we left the beautiful Lapway Valley, I felt like we were saying goodbye to family. It was a 19-hour drive home for us, so for the rest of the trip, I left the riding boots in the truck and played tourist. We have quite the view this evening. and a place to sleep. And we finished all four breeds. So it's pretty exciting. Good morning. It's cold here. And we just did a super express uh, pack up. Um, 
because I can't feel my fingers or my nose. And so <laughs> it's time to go. We are walking out in the cold yet again, uh, except this time there is a cute little hot springs cabin waiting for us.